Fred from the Laptop Barn here. Today we're going to walk you through the procedure required to change the screen on the Dell Latitude E5570 laptop. Okay, common repair item if you break your screen or something happens to it. If you want to change it, here's what you do. There's a bezel that goes around the screen. Take a pry tool. You could use a flathead screwdriver. We use a little special pry tool, but the idea is to jam something in so that you can pop that plastic off. It's just press fit in there. Now, you see we get it started and you kind of work it your way around. Sometimes, if the, it's actually glued on there too. If the glue's a little sticky and you don't want to force it, you could try a hair dryer and have the hair dryer blow on it and warm that piece up just a little bit. Don't overheat it. But if you warmed it up a little bit, the glue might come undone a little quicker. Um, you can see that we didn't have to do it on this particular one, but we have had those where the glue was a little sticky, so you just use a hair dryer. So now that pops off, and as soon as you get that bezel off, you've exposed the assembly screws. So take your Phillips screwdriver and undo the screws around the perimeter of the assembly. And mechanically, that's all there is holding that in place. Now the screen will pop right up and you just have to disconnect the electric connector, which has got some tape on it protecting it. You just, you'll see the tape there, kind of peel the tape out of the way so you can get at the connector. And then the connector has a little handle on it that you pull up on to dislodge the connection between the cable and the screen. Again, peel back the tape. There's a better picture of it. There's the connector and that little lever between the fingers there is what you have to lift up and then you can pull that connector right out. Okay. That's the only electrical connection uh, between the two. So just be careful. It's a zero and force uh, ZIF connector. And again, it just slides in and that handle slips down over top of it. Pretty straightforward. So now you've gotten that old assembly off. So... Now that you've done that, again, you can see the wiggling of that handle right there, just to kind of give you another shot of it. That the old screen comes off. Now you put the new screen on and reverse the process. So now you have to assemble that connector. You put the connector down inside the socket and flip that handle over to lock it in place. Put the tape back on. It'll seal it and now you put the screen down into its position and take your screws that you previously disassembled with and re mechanically fasten the screen to the case pretty straightforward on this model and you've just changed the the screen now we're going to put that bezel back on and again it just press fits on there you put it into position and press down and run your thumb crossed and around the perimeter and it will snap fit that bezel right back on and there you go now you put it up and you are done press the power button and let's see if it comes on and voila, it's done. You heard it here. Fred from the Laptop Barn. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.